Alright guys, I am here with my Ring of Honor um, Showdown in the Sun internet pay-per-view predictions. Uh, the shows are Friday, March 30th and Saturday, March 31st this weekend. So I thought I would go ahead and do my Ring of Honor predictions first and starting with day one we have Charlie Haas and Shelton Benjamin versus Caprice Coleman and Cedric Alexander. Uh, World's Greatest Tag Team has a big match against the Briscoes for the tag titles on day two, so I'm going to go ahead and say World's Greatest Tag Team goes over here. Um, proving Ground Match, the Briscoes versus TMDK, Mikey Nichols, and Shane Haste. Um, unless they were planning to build up to like a feud with these guys, which I doubt they are, I'm just going to go ahead and predict the Briscoes winning this one. Uh, Young Bucks versus All Night Express, and uh, one day is going to be a street fight, and one day is going to be a tornado tag match. I'm going to say day one is going to be the tornado tag match, and it's going to be All Night Express going over. And then we have La Revencha, Kevin Steen versus El Generico. I'm going to have to go with Kevin Steen here. I really wish they would have saved this and made it a bigger moment, but I guess they want to get Steen into the world title picture, and they're just trying to tie up all his loose ends. So I'm going to say Kevin Steen wins this one. Now, Jay Lethal versus Kyle O'Reilly for the TV title. Um, this one could go either way, but I think that they want Jay Lethal to move up into the world title picture, and I'm just going to go out on a limb here and predict that Kyle O'Reilly wins the TV title here tonight, and then possibly feuds with um, Adam Cole. Uh, then we have Lance Storm versus Mike Bennett. I think Bennett's going to go over here. Lance Storm is coming in. He's going to be used to put over the younger talent, and that's fine with me. I think Bennett could be a really good wrestler. Um, well, he is a good wrestler, but I think he could be a bigger star in Ring of Honor. And beating Lance Storm is going to help him, so definitely Bennett going over here. Then we have the main event. Davey Richards versus Eddie Edwards versus Roderick Strong for the world title. Um, I'm going to have to go with Davey Richards here. Okay, so then we have Ring of Honor Day 2, March 31st. TJ Perkins versus Chikara's Fire Ant. Um, this one could also go either way, but because they're building to a doubleheader pay-per-view, well, I don't even know if it's a pay-per-view, but they're building to a doubleheader show called Synergy with Ring of Honor and Chikara, um, I'm going to predict that TJ Perkins wins here, and then Fire Ant can get his revenge at the Chikara show. Um, Kyle O'Reilly versus Adam Cole. If Kyle O'Reilly does win the TV title on day one, I'm definitely saying he goes over here against Adam Cole and then possibly builds to the future. Uh, Young Bucks versus All Night Express. I'm going to say this match is going to be the street fight and Young Bucks are going to win. Briscoes versus World's Greatest Tag Team for the tag titles. Uh, they said this is the end of the feud and I see the Briscoes winning this one. Then we have Blind Destiny. Match number one. Um, Lethal versus Roderick Strong. Um, I'm going to say that Lethal actually wins here. Um, Blind Destiny 2, Eddie Edwards versus Kevin Steen. I'm going to say Kevin Steen wins. And then Blind Destiny 3, Davey Richards versus Michael Elgin. Um, Roderick and Elgin are probably going to break up and have their own little feud because he wanted Elgin to give him his spot against Davey Richards. And before he could answer on the TV show, Jay Lethal came out. So what I think is going to happen is Davey's going to win, possibly with Roderick coming out and distracting Elgin because he's pissed he didn't give him his match. But I see Davey retaining the championship here and then Roderick and Elgin building to their own thing. And then they will probably start the build finally for Kevin Steen versus Roderick Strong, or, uh, versus Davey Richards. So those are my predictions for the Ring of Honor pay-per-view this weekend. Um, it should be an awesome show. I'm going to review Dragon Gate Friday night, so it kind of sucks because the pay-per-views run head-to-head. -head. You can get both shows, one-time viewing of, for Ring of Honor for 20 bucks, but I'm actually going to go ahead and buy the shows to keep them on demand. That way I can do Dragon Gate, and then Saturday morning when it's available at 12, I'll do Ring of Honor day one, and then Sunday day two, and then WrestleMania that, um, that night. So I will be doing all these shows. Uh, starting with Dragon Gate Friday. Um, so I hope you guys like this review. Um, check out the pay-per-views. Like I said, you can get them for 20 bucks both shows. It's a great deal. You can get Dragon Gate USA 8 o'clock Friday night for $1.99. 
So that's that should be awesome too. So I'm really looking forward to this weekend. It's going to be the biggest weekend in wrestling um, all year. So it should be really great. So I hope you guys like this video, and I will be back in a, just a couple minutes with my WrestleMania 28 predictions. So I hope you check that out too, and thanks for watching. Bye.